were as captivating, mysterious, and awe-inspiring as the age of the dinosaurs. It's a period that spans over 180 million years. It's beginning in the late Triassic around 230 million years ago, and ending with a cataclysmic extinction event at the close of the Cretaceous period around 66 million years ago, when the reign of these magnificent creatures abruptly ended, paving the way for the rise of mammals and eventually humans. See, but what exactly made this era so special, and how did such a vast diversity of gigantic reptiles come to dominate Earth's land, seas, and skies? Let us travel back in time. I to a world unrecognizable, where continents were conjoined into the supercontinent Pangaea, and the climate was harsh, hot, and volatile, with massive volcanic eruptions shaping the atmosphere and triggering environmental changes that set the stage for evolutionary leaps. During the Triassic, the earliest dinosaurs emerged from archosaur ancestors. Small bipedal predators like Eoraptor and Herasaurus scurried through fern-covered undergrowth. Competing with other reptilian species for dominance, their evolution was gradual yet unstoppable. As survival favored agility, strong jaws, and keen senses, by the time the Jurassic period unfolded, the Earth was greener, wetter, and more hospitable. Yes, marking a golden age for dinosaur expansion and gigantism. Towering herbivores like Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus thundered through conifer forests, grazing from treetops while smaller creatures like Stegosaurus used plates and tails for defense against predators such as Allosaurus. So, the skies too had their conquerors as the pterosaurs evolved with wingspans larger than modern aircraft. While marine reptiles like Ichthyosaurs and Plesiosaurs ruled the ancient oceans, the Cretaceous period brought more dramatic changes flowering plants appeared. Its insect populations exploded and dinosaurs diversified into countless new forms. Happy, including the iconic Triceratops with its fearsome horns and frill, and of course the apex predator Tyrannosaurus rex, Imple whose sheer size and bone-crushing bite force made it one of the most formidable hunters in Earth's history. Yet despite their dominance, the age of dinosaurs was not eternal. For beneath the surface of this thriving world lay the seeds of destruction. Around 66 million years ago, a 10-kilometer wide asteroid slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, releasing energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. The skies darkened with dust and sulfur, global temperatures plummeted, plant life died off, and ecosystems collapsed. In a matter of years, diff, three quarters of Earth's species vanished, including nearly all dinosaurs except for some feathered ones that would evolve into birds. And so ended the reign of the dinosaurs, a chapter that speaks to the awe-inspiring power of nature and evolution, a reminder that no species, no matter how mighty, is immune to the forces of change, but as if but, but they left behind is extraordinary fossils that speak of their grandeur. Footprints that whisper of ancient migrations and bones that tell stories of survival, adaptation, and extinction. Even today, paleontologists continue to unearth new species, revealing how rich and complex prehistoric ecosystems truly were. Scientists debate theories, reconstruct habitats, and piece together the behaviors of long extinct giants using cutting edge technology like CT scans and 3D modeling. And through this detective work, We've come to appreciate not only how dinosaurs lived, but how Earth itself evolved, how shifting continents, volcanic upheavals, and celestial impacts shaped the path of life on our planet indeed. The age of dinosaurs was not just a tale of beasts and battles, but a story of time, transformation, and resilience. A reminder that Earth's past is not dead, but alive in the rocks beneath our feet and the birds in our skies. And as we gaze into the fossilized eyes of a T, Rex skull or the delicately preserved feathers of a prehistoric raptor, we are looking into the mirror of deep time, seeing both the fragility and ferocity of life on Earth and understanding that in every extinction, there is the seed of new beginning.